Hi guys, so today I'm doing a vlog for you because you seem to really like my vlogs, like day in the life kind of videos and especially shopping ones. You guys seem to really like when I'm in the changing rooms or just I'm showing around the shops, showing what I like and stuff. So I thought I'm gonna vlog today because I'm going for shopping to Vilnius, our capital city. And it's 15 minutes to 7, which is way too early for me. I don't do well with early mornings, especially when you go to sleep at 3 at night. So I only got, what, 3 hours of sleep. You can probably tell that from my eyes. Um, yeah, I just did my hair. I'm not going to do my makeup because I'll probably sleep all the way in the car, all the way to fitness, which is a 3 hour car ride from here and I'm going with my dad because he has some errands he needs to run in Vilnius so I thought I might just come along and do some shopping during that time while he runs his errands um, mainly because I'm out of my Lush bath bombs and I need to buy new ones and I checked online and they have all their a few Halloween um, bath products and also their Christmas collection out so fingers crossed, I'm really hoping they will have a Christmas collection in Vilnius. My hopes are pretty low because it's a very small Lush shop. But, oh, I would love to get Christmas stuff for the first time ever because I never ever tried it and their Christmas products always look incredible. So, yeah, now I'm gonna go downstairs, have some breakfast and then I will vlog in Vilnius as well. I'm just gonna stay in Panorama Shopping Center for a couple of hours probably because you know my dad will be pretty quick so maybe two three hours I'm hoping and in Panorama they have a bunch of amazing things like they even have H&M home there which we don't have here and like H&M beauty section I believe they have MAC an amazing smoothie place called Nectaras I love their smoothies I'm wearing my new bathrobe or dressing gown that I recently got from Next. I love it. It's so soft and just cozy. It's the best thing in the morning. Um, I'm taking my Harry Potter book, my iPad. I'm gonna take a face mask with me because, you know, as I said, I didn't get a lot of sleep. So this is Star Skin Brightening after party. <laughs> face mask not that I partied but you know hopefully it will make me look more rested and I was sent these masks by Douglas oh by the way do you guys have the new Panela? I mean October's issue because um, you probably know by now already that I write a column for Panela every single month so here's my page this month and look these are the pictures of me in Paris so Make sure you grab Panela to read my article. And yeah, these are the face masks I've been sent to try out by Douglas, which is, was very kind of them. So thank you, Douglas, so much. They're star skin, like these, you know, scary looking serial killer kind of masks. So this is a red carpet ready hydrating mask, which like rejuvenates, moisturizes, blah, blah, blah. This is behind the scenes calming mask, pore refining, deeply purifying, sebum balancing, breakout prevention. This is firming mask, close up firming mask. Oh, I'll show you actually what makeup I'm taking because I'm just gonna apply it in the car um, before we arrive to Vilnius because I don't wanna like, be with a full face of makeup in the car. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna use on my face and I'm taking mostly cream products because I'm, I don't want to take brushes and stuff so I want something quick that I could apply just with my fingers I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in powder pink love this blush my new Laura Mercy lipstick in Spiced Rose which is simply gorgeous kinda looks like my nails this is um Barefoot in Barcelona, one of my all-time favorite nail polishes. Beige Anu by L'Oreal. 
um, H&M cream shadow in Shampers. I really hope they will have H&M beauty section there in Panorama because I want to get maybe more of these cream shadows. My Essence Make My Brow Eyebrow Gel, um, Pupa Vamp Mascara Sample, my Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil by Maybelline, uh, H&M Halo Illuminator, SLA Concealer for under my eyes and then MAC Studio Finish Concealer for my spots. Um, and gosh, BB cream, and that's it, and just some makeup wipes, but I hate these, these are so bad, so I'm just gonna use them to clean my hands. I'm gonna wear my super soft and comfy gray jumper from Zara, and my mango skinny jeans that I love so much, and these leather, like, Chelsea booties from Zara last year, and also my Zara handbag. This one is actually from Choice, but... It's inspired by Burberry, so they kind of copied the style of a Burberry cape, and I think it looks very chic. But I also love this long cardigan from Lindex, so let me show you what this one looks like on. So that's the outfit with a long cardigan, and I wore this outfit this week already, and it's just like very soft, but I think it looks maybe more casual and kind of frumpy. It still looks very modern and chic in my opinion because this cardigan is so long. So it looks very mod. That's just my opinion. Some of you might think this looks like a granny outfit. I don't know. I find it super chic. So I'm not sure which one to wear. I eventually decided on my outfit. I'm gonna wear the cape. This guy is amazing. So I'm ready for my trip. As you can see, I have my neck pillow. The sky was so gorgeous this morning, as you saw in the previous clip, the sun is rising. So I will see you guys three hours later. My dad dropped me at Panorama shopping center. Just did my makeup. That's the smoothie place that I love. And I took Sweet Kiss, which has mango, banana, strawberries, and orange juice. Best smoothie ever. Oh my god. using a nail polish. These are my favorite. Bordeaux, red carpet, and milky tea. I think I'll get this one. And this. So, so quiet and empty here. So I'm gonna check each and I'm home. I got two of these makeup products. Oh, I love their stuff so much. It's so inexpensive and so stylish. Look at that. 10 euros. Makes me wanna move out. This is so cool. I love these jewelry cases. Oh my god. So 
just try the barrel uh, for MAC on my lips and I like it but I don't think I need it. So now I'm gonna go into Lush. So I'm done with shopping around. I had two hours so it wasn't much at all for me. Didn't even eat anything. Um, my dad already came to pick me up. But I got Lush products. Sadly they didn't have their Christmas collection yet. It's coming out on 20th I believe coming in into their store and the girl said we don't ship in Lithuania like if you ordered online but she said I could arrange it for you she was very lovely I came to my grandparents house we we're gonna have a lunch pick them up and head back home so you may ask was it worth coming for just two hours yes it was it's always worth coming for lunch As you can tell and it's 15 to 6 so yeah we left in the morning we came home in the evening that was a very quick trip and I wish I could spend more time in Vilnius like, I haven't visited Vilnius properly in such a long time it's full of amazing places parks and beautiful little streets cafes and shops and it's full of life I mean it's our capital but I didn't really have time for that I also wanted to go to Marks and Spencer's and um, to Donut Lab, which is a very popular donut place in Vilnius, which I'm not into donuts, but I wouldn't say no to Donut Lab. So yeah, because I only had two hours, I couldn't just go out and visit Vilnius and whatnot. So I just spent these two hours in Panorama shopping center, but I'm sure it's not the last time I'm going to Vilnius, so maybe I'll go soon again. I should probably plan a trip. It's just gray skies and rain outside, so not the best weather. Uh, and I'm I'm really cold actually, so I cannot wait to jump into my bunny jumper from next. Um, I've read 134 pages of The Goblet of Fire. I'm loving it so far. Really suspenseful. I tried this mask. You're supposed to keep it on for 20 to 25 minutes. And I kept it for maybe two minutes. I felt like it was extremely wet, like it was dripping. They say it's infused with one full bottle of serum and it kind of feels like it. it's so wet. And uh, there's a lot of like liquid on your face left. And I didn't like the texture of it. Normally these sheet masks are very soft, but this one is like very sharp and rigid feels like sharp paper I don't know very unpleasant texture I will try it again probably because it's still full of serum I'm not gonna show you guys what I got from Lush because I'm gonna do a Lush haul obviously <laughs> that's inevitable and oh my god I cannot wait to take a bath now and uh, I'm gonna show you what I got at H&M they put your beauty items in this lovely H&M bag so I got this box for jewelry i thought i'm gonna keep here my everyday jewelry like my you know dainty gold jewels and it is a very good quality box look it's not flimsy it's very sturdy and nice this one was 15 euros which isn't very cheap but it's so beautiful in my opinion it looks very classy and then for the beauty items i showed you guys what i got so i got the nail polish in Bordeaux, which is just like a dark Bordeaux color. And then I got a cream eyeshadow. Actually, they had only one left in the color Champers that I rave about. So I'm not sure if that's my influence or not. But I got this one called Countess. I don't know why the label is pink, because it's a peachy color. It's definitely my kind of color. It looks similar to Champers, but Champers is like nude with gold shimmer. Whereas this one is very peachy. Um, I think the camera doesn't pick up its true color. But it's very beautiful. And the eye all of the cream eyeshadows there in the shop were completely dry. So I couldn't swatch any of them. I was very worried that this might happen to my shadows as well. So far it's extremely creamy. So I'm hoping it will not dry out anytime soon. Now I have to go downstairs and have dinner that my mom prepared with 
my grandparents. I'm selling some of my beauty products that I don't use anymore. Check out my Depop account because I have all of these um, beauty products on there. So I have some OPI nail polishes, some Chanel nail polishes. Um, yeah, like this highlighter from Catrice, which was a limited edition one. Rimmel eyeshadow quad. So yeah, like a bunch of beauty products. If you're interested, check out my Depop. I also put up um, clothing pieces that I don't wear anymore. Here is Louis being sleepy, as <laughs> always. We are always so sleepy, Louis. Always so sleepy. You sleep 20 hours a day. <laughs> So that's Louis to those of you who miss him. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Love you so much. No, don't you just hate those flipping stickers that take forever to get off? I recommend using nail polish remover or just water, but it's still so freaking annoying. So as you can see, I'm wearing my fluffy bunny jumper um, from Next. And I've just been sitting here organizing my dressing table and reorganizing my makeup. So this is kind of like my daily makeup products that I reach for the most often. Here I have all my BB creams and like base products, uh, lip liners, eyeliners, extra mascaras, all my lip glosses. Here I've got the rest of my makeup, which is really disorganized. I mean, I know where everything is, so here I have all my eyeshadows. Here I have my like, bronzers and blushers. And here are my lipsticks and lip balms. So, I don't like it at all. It feels very cluttered, disorganized. Yeah, I kind of wish I had better organization. And by the way, guys, I've been loving this Tanya Burr palette. It's amazing! You can see the colors a lot better. It just makes your face look so beautiful. And they're not too pigmented where it's really difficult to blend. They're just like enough pigmented. I've been reaching for this palette a lot recently and I love it. You have all you need. Usually with palettes like these, either like highlighter or bronzer is shitty, but in this palette I love every single product. So well done, Tanya. And I just put my jewelry in this H&M beautiful box. 